Hey everyone, it's Rick from Ace Driving. Every car guy on earth wants their dream enthusiast car, but some of us aren't exactly in a place where we can comfortably make monthly payments on a car that costs tens of thousands of dollars. I'll be real, it's kind of a bummer. But don't worry, we've got you covered with a small list of alternatives to your dream machine that won't break the bank. Every vehicle on this list can be purchased for $5,000 or under, so we're in the realm of what most people would consider affordable. We've found these cars and prices by scouring Craigslist and the Facebook Marketplace, since these are a broke car guy's best friends. While these cars may not be the exact price range in your location, the differences will likely not vary beyond a few hundred dollars. These are listed in no particular order, so don't think that the number ranking indicates that one is a better option than the other. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Number 1, Ford Mustang Generations 3 and 4. So we're going to start off this list with one of the most common cars on the US motorways and one of my personal favorite coupes of all time, the fantastic Ford Mustang. For around $4,000, you can pick up a Generation 3 or 4 in pretty good condition. And by good condition, I'm referring to the mechanical function of the car, not the cosmetic appeal. You can easily pick one up for $4,000 and get a good running car, but definitely expect some wear on the paint and maybe a few minor dents on the body. Now you can definitely pick one up in some good cosmetic shape as well, but don't go and expect a car that looks like it's straight from the showroom floor. Also don't expect to find a running V8 model at this price point. The majority of running Mustangs at this price are the 4 and 6 cylinder models. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Number 2, Mazda MX-5 Miata, NA and NB models. In a list of cheap and fun cars, it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna see a Mazda Miata listed somewhere. And this list is absolutely no exception. While it's deemed as slow, underpowered, and exclusively driven by metrosexual hairdressers named Julius, there really is no better way to get a cheap rear-wheel drive convertible. From anywhere between $2,500 and $4,500, you can pick up a fun, drivable, and still usually good-looking Generation 1 or 2 Miata. Once you buy it, you might not be the fastest guy on the road, but you'll probably be the one having the most fun, though. And that's really what matters. Number 3, Honda Prelude, Generations 3 through 5. Since we've covered the most listed affordable enthusiast car, I figured we should include one of the least listed. Yes, it's a Honda, but hear me out. This isn't your standard Honda Bros Civic that he's tried to mod into a sports car. This is a legitimate four-cylinder, front-wheel drive sports coupe straight from the factory. Now, it's true that the Prelude doesn't have a ton of horsepower going for it, but with its fairly light weight and great handling, it is definitely a joy to drive. You can pick up a running, driving, and good-looking Prelude from Generation 3 to the final generation anywhere from $3,000 to $4,500. And you don't see as many Preludes on the road as you do Civics, so in addition to a fun and functional sports coupe, you'd also be getting a somewhat unique ride as well. Just remember that it is a Honda, and people love to rice out Hondas. So be careful and be sure to find the right one. Number 4, Chevrolet S10. Oh yeah, we have a truck on this list too. A good old S10 in drivable condition will cost you anywhere between two and $5,000. But why do we have a truck on this list? Easy, the S10 is a tried and true platform that you can do basically anything and everything with. Are you looking for something to drop a V8 in and drag race? Done. How about something to slap some honking all-terrains on and take out for some dirty rallycross action? Done. Well, how about drifting? Mother. Fucking. Done. Hell, the S10 has so many things it can do, I might just make another video listing all the things you can probably do with it. Number 5, Naturally Aspirated Nissan 300ZX. And rounding out our list, we have one of my favorite members of Nissan's Z family. With prices ranging from $2,500 to $5,000 plus dollars, it's actually pretty easy to get yourself associated with Nissan's Z family of sport coupes. While Nissan did offer a twin turboed version of the 300ZX, the naturally aspirated models are still plenty of fun to drive and easy enough to pick up without breaking the bank. And these reasonable prices apply for both the Z31 and Z32 versions of the 300ZX. So if you prefer your cars to be more 80s than a mullet wearing a jean jacket, you can pick up the Z31. And if the 90s is more your speed, you can get the Z32 for just about as cheap. Either way, you'll be getting a fantastic enthusiast car. So that will do it for today's video. I hope this at least helps point someone in a good direction for a fun car they can afford and actually like. Please like and subscribe for more videos. We'll be trying to set up more of a timetable for these, so hopefully you'll see another video from us sooner than later.